So what are tariffs? Well, tariffs are a tax that the US government makes people pay on products being imported from other countries. So let's say I want to buy some computer parts from China. When they get here, I'm going to have to pay the government more money than was already agreed upon between the manufacturer and me, the distributor. They don't pay that. I pay that. I write the U.S. government a big old check and they take that money. It's a percentage of, of what I'm buying. So let's say I buy a thousand dollars worth of capacitors for iPhones and I want to make iPhones and that's what I do. I'm buying them for a dollar a piece and then if there's a 15% tariff on electronics from, from China, I pay the government 15 cents on the dollar. So I'm paying a buck 15, not 85 cents and they pay 15 cents, me, the American, is paying all of it. That might not seem too crazy to you, but let me kind of change the perspective though. Let's say you go to the grocery store and you buy milk from the Latvian bros who make the best milk. And you bring it home and you're so excited to drink your milk because mm, milk is so tasty. And you get home and your landlord starts going through your groceries and goes, Latvian milk? I make milk. If you want to drink that here, you got to pay me a dollar extra. That's what tariffs are. If that doesn't seem totally insane to you, well, don't worry, there's more. But the Latvian milk is stealing jobs from the American milk farmers. Did I miss the part where the US government's like, oh, you don't like competition? Well, boy, have I got something for you. It's a monopoly. We can't have state sanctioned monopolies. That's bad. But if it's bad, why do governments do this? Why does the US government do this? Well, don't worry, that's point number two. Why does the government impose tariffs in the first place? You know, theoretically, there could be a country that only uses slave labor, uh, and yeah, sure, we shouldn't be buying from them, but at that point, just don't buy the products. Why is the government intervening and just charging more for the products? But that's not really what's happening. What's happening is the government is using these tariffs, these things that cost Americans more, as a, a sort of punishment for when countries don't shut up and get in line. World powers, like the United States, do terrible stuff all the time, and in the, the spectrum of like blowing up your wedding with a drone strike to charging 15 cents more for chiclets, obviously, the chiclets are way worse. What really chafes me is that it's not even really impacting foreign actors. Most of this stuff, most of the taxes and expenses and fees and inconveniences go on Americans, so why? Why are we doing this? Look at your phone, your computer, anything that uses electricity. How much of that stuff is made in China? Guess what? More than 50%. There's no other alternatives. Which brings us to our third point. Who is paying these tariffs? Is it other countries? Or is it us, Americans, huh? Let's just walk this through. Product A comes from China to America. A tariff is imposed. It costs 15% more. You think that the business owner, the distributor is like, oh man, these tariffs suck. I'm going to make less money now. No, no, that's not what happens. That, that's, that's, you, you have to be a moron to think that they're upping their prices to make the same amount of money that they made before. And if it's a product like electrical components that are ubiquitous, Everything is gonna cost more. There's no cheaper alternative to cheap Chinese stuff. But maybe you're like, well, anybody who does business with un non American people should be executed. Yeah, good luck with that. Let's just let's let's just ride that out. What if we only did business in America? So all this stuff we outsource because it's not worth our time comes back to America. We start doing more mining, we make more steel. All this remedial BS. What happens then? Oh, well suddenly instead of focusing on innovation and new stuff, things that actually America's good at doing, we're focusing on giving these fools jobs, supposedly, because they don't know how to add value in a, a global economy. Awesome, wonderful, I cannot wait until everything sucks. Oh, do you want to have progress in nice things? No, I don't. I want to dumb down the world economy so hillbillies can have a job. 
The reason that we buy stuff from China is not because we hate Americans, it's because it's cheaper. It provides more value at a lower cost. If you can't do that in America, don't try to. Having these tariffs is like, we're gonna impose a tax on groceries because we wanna have more farmers in America. It's just a, 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 it's a core misunderstanding of what value is, of, of how markets work and how people, like, we're not all, we don't live on homesteads. We're not all responsible for milking the cows and weaving our own fabric for shirts. People died and they were like 25 years old back then. Do you really want that? So here we are with the natural conclusion of tariffs. They shrink the economy by focusing production on overly inefficient and expensive products that could otherwise be imported from other countries. Why don't we do that? Because it doesn't get the votes. You are being played by politicians who want to make it seem like you're giving them money. I'm editing the video right now and that doesn't make any sense. What I should have said is it seems like we're getting money from other countries, like they're paying. When really all you're doing is just taxing the whole country at large, giving a little bit of cash to some people who directly benefit from the lack of competition, uh, and just screwing everyone else over. That's my video, guys. If you liked me explaining these basic macroeconomic concepts, subscribe. If you didn't like this video and you think we gotta make America great again by producing backwards products and creating an economy that is not productive or innovative, 